New year, new you. What a crock of shit this is, right? Normally, around the 10th of January, this video is gonna come out after it, people would have given up on their New Year's resolutions. They would have gone all out and basically got fucking bored and decided they ain't gonna do it. And the reason why people fail is because they try and do things they've never done before. They go all in and they try bizarre methodologies to get to the results they want. First of all, they're unsure of the results they want. They're not exactly sure whether they want to be bigger, fitter, more healthy. They just want to change something. And changing something is fantastic, but you have to change it and be smart about how you change things. And in my last video, I talked a little bit about worrying about things you can control, right? And one aspect of that, and there are a few of them, we're gonna do a couple of videos on them, was how you treat your body is a fantastic way of, um, getting control back when life's falling apart, you're in lockdown, you've, you know, you have a bad relationship, you're, you know, you can't get things right, you're losing money, whatever it might be. One thing you can go back to at basics is always how you treat your body and how you treat your mind, whether that's learning a course, upskilling yourself, um, changing something about your life, eating slightly healthier. But where people go wrong is in January, they go, I'm gonna go change everything because they feel obliged to do it. And more often than not, they fall short. Firstly, because the normal reaction is to re reach into your wardrobe if you've never exercised before, pick up a pair of green flash fucking plimp soles and go for a run because running is the easiest thing. We all think running is gonna get us fit. We think running's brilliant. Running's gonna change our bodies. Running is fucking horrific, right? So on the first day you'll run out, you'll probably run out for 25 minutes and you'll go, oh, this hurts, that hurts, my legs hurt because you're probably running on pavements. Oh, my feet are hurting, Christ, my back's a bit sore. God, this is boring. And luckily, if you're in a good motivated mood, you'll have to listen to some tunes and you'll probably bounce along for a bit and you'll do day one. Day two, you'll wake up, it's fucking cold at the moment. So you put your green flash back on or if you go completely mad, you would have bought yourself some really expensive running shoes. You'll put them on, you go running again and you'll think, Christ, this is harder than it was day one because the novelty's worn off, this is boring. And within five, six days, you fucked it off. Now, the madness is that no one's ever looked at Mo Farah and gone, I want that rig, unless you are a Olympic runner, then Mo Farah is like top of, the, top, of the, top of the tree. He's somebody you wanna look at and go, do you know what, I want that body. For the rest of us, that's not my goal. I said in the last video, nobody should tell you how you wanna look, and if you wanna change things the better, just doing a bit of exercise, that's fine. But you don't need to go fucking running. There's plenty of things you can be doing to change your to change your body. The other thing is, is don't try and do it all in one go. There seems to be this pressure to go, I'm gonna join a gym when we could go to gyms, I'm gonna buy all the equipment, buy all the ingredients, I'm gonna completely change everything. Well, if you've never done fucking any of it, it's impossible to change everything. It's about little incremental habits. And my piece of advice for you would be, to try to tick off little bits every day. So if you've never exercised before, go outside and go for a walk for 20 minutes. That's it, come back in, see you, get on. You will burn more calories walking around in the day, gesticulating like I am, than you will do in a, in a gym session. So if you're constantly moving, trying to get your steps up, that is a great start. If you have never eaten breakfast, and I know there's lots of talk about whether you should eat breakfast, don't eat breakfast, I find it's really important to start the day just purely for uh, health benefits, for mental benefits, and also because um, I, I, I'm not, I won't snack as much if I eat breakfast. Try and add a bit of breakfast in. Go easy, go simple, have a bit of cereal. I know people demonize cereal, but some of them are really not too bad. And if you understand about calories and everything else, it's not a fucking problem. Try that. If you want to try and go and do some exercises, find someone reputable and buy into the plan. And for fuck's sake, don't tell anyone what you're doing because they'll all give you better advice. There's always a better plan. There's always a better hero online to follow. Find something, stick with it for, for eight to 10 weeks. And if you get no results and you were doing everything to letter, then they were shit and you can start again. But you're much more likely to stick to your New Year's resolutions by chalking these little bits off each day and making it a habit and remember and I nick this from a Navy SEAL if you're stealing anything from a Navy SEAL it's gonna be good unless the Navy SEAL sees you doing it and then, then he's gonna probably cut your head off if you're worried about trying to get some focus and some routine in this madness then make your bed every day and the reasoning behind doing that is you're doing something for the first part of the day and you're ticking it off so you fulfilled your first task you've made your bed right and if you do fuck all all day by the time you come back, you've got a beautiful made bed and at least you've achieved something. Now, it sounds silly, it sounds a bit niche, but I do it every single day. And some days I'm the most proactive person in the world. Other days I fall short, I get lost, I procrastinate and I, I get fucking bewildered. But I'm gonna come back to a beautifully made bed and who doesn't like a beautifully made bed? And at least I can look at something and go, do you know what? I achieved something today. These are just a couple of thoughts. If you like the video, please share, please subscribe. And I'll be back for more advice soon.